Hi. I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be answering a reader's question, what to do about a jacket that fits a little bit too tight. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it right down there. And last but not least, make sure to go check out my products. I've got a free ebook, 47 pages. I get emails about it every single day. Awesome. You can just follow the link right down there. And I've got a premium ebook. So if you've read my free ebook and you want more, 600 pages, 400 images, 14 hours of audio, supports my company here in Wisconsin and allows me to make more videos. So I'd appreciate it if you would check it out. Okay, this is what came in. Antonio, thank you for constantly posting up new videos. You're welcome. I enjoy watching them from Malaysia. Very cool. I have recently bought a new navy colored suit jacket from a department store for my brother's wedding. It's a slim fit style and it gives a snug fit. I really like it, but when I showed it to my mother, she thinks it's too tight, mostly due to my belly. Worrying that I may not be comfortable moving around in the jacket, she suggests that I exchange it for a larger size. However, there is already about a half inch to three quarters inch excess on the shoulders of my current jacket. A larger size means broader shoulder pads. Therefore, is it okay to keep the current outfit or is it recommended I get one size larger? Sincerely, William. Okay, this is a great question. Most men are wearing jackets that are too large for them. They're not, re realize with a jacket, this is a suit jacket. It's not an exercise or jogging suit. It's not a workout suit. I've had people uh, purchase clothing from me and they show me in a video, they're like, you know, I can't jump up on a pull-up bar and knock out 30 pull-ups. And, you know, I'm first saying, well, well could you normally knock out 30 pull-ups? No, seriously, it's, I, I'm thinking, why are you doing this with your suit? You know, in your suit, this is more, it is for dressing your events. This is not for, this is not a workout outfit. So you do want, especially if you've got a good body, you want your suit and your clothing to fit a little bit more closer to the body. Most people, we're just used to our clothing fitting so loosely because almost everything we own is made to fit a bigger man. So that would be my first thing. I'd actually like to see how this fit looks. But let's say it is a little bit tight in the midsection. Should he just go buy a larger suit? My quick answer is going to be no, because it already sounds like it's a little bit too big in the shoulders. And he's right. If he purchases the next size up, those shoulders are going to go out another half inch to a quarter inch on the sides. And all of a sudden, he's going to have a full inch excess on the shoulders. And that is not going to look good. Instead, he should have to look, he should just have the jacket opened up. It's a $50 to $100 procedure. Uh, actually, there in Malaysia is probably going to be a bit cheaper, but any good tailor can get this done. A seamstress as, as well, they, you don't have to be a bespoke tailor. This is a common alteration and most jackets should have room to be opened up approximately one and a half to two inches at the most. Once you get past that, proportions start getting out and it's not a good idea. But I would say it sounds like even just adding an inch there an inch and a half in the midsection, it's going to look like a much better jacket. Now, you need to make sure the material is in there. So, it, you know, and it's something that make sure that you can return this jacket, uh, maybe have, you know, op take it to a tailor. He can open it up at the bottom and peek in there and make sure there's enough fabric because the best tailor in the world cannot open up a jacket if there's no fabric to it to expand open. But if he can open up that jacket, I think that's going to solve your problem. Another thing to think about is that it's okay that your shoulders are a little bit out there. Even on my jackets, I like my shoulders to be a, a bit out there. And the reason is, is I really want to build up. I, I'm a pretty thin guy. And I don't, I wanted a little bit of build in my shoulders going out because when you build out the shoulders, it changes your silhouette and it can help to give you a more masculine look. So with your excess stomach, you're, you don't want to have the, how I would say, the grimace look. And he was a uh, figure who mysteriously disappeared from McDonald's a while back. But if you look at grimace, he is shaped like a pear. This is not a manly look. Flip that over and all of a sudden you have a more masculine look where actually your shoulders are in that area it goes, you know, like an inverted triangle. That's the image you want to portray. Now, I know for a lot of men, they can't do that. So, go for a rectangle. Go for more. It's better to have a square look than it is to have a round pear look. That's pretty much the worst shape. You, you don't want that one. Okay. So, it sounds like you're going to have more of a square, more of a rectangle shape look. 
that is fine because it's better than the alternative and it is going to make you look better. Uh, but again, this is your brother's wedding. It sounds like you are taking, you know, everything you need to into account. Make sure that the trousers have a good fit. Um, and that's it. Have a great time. Hopefully this helps. Uh, look at some of my other videos. I've talked about alterations. I've got an entire article over the art of manliness talking about alterations. I've also talked about getting a suit fit at Real Men Real Style. And uh, all right, if anyone else has a question about men's style, you know where to go, menstyleqna.com. I will see you guys over there because that's where we're answering all the questions. We've got over a couple hundred questions and answers already put up and I look forward to seeing you guys over there. Take care. Bye-bye.